What's up, lady? She obviously should have worn a hat. <laughs> Kathy, let, let's raise a glass oh. for your son who recently got uh, engaged. Yes, Trace to get... Cody. And his Salute. Beautiful, beautiful lady, Erica. I love that wine has become synonymous with you, which is fantastic. This is not my wine, so I'm not drinking it. <laughs> you can tell. Wait, did enough. we know the engagement was coming? Did you help oh, yeah. the ring? No, um, he, he told me. The, the day before that it was going to happen the next oh, day. Wow, this is wow. big. Yeah, yeah. They've been get they've been together uh, six years. They got engaged on their sixth anniversary. Oh, that's great. And she's lovely. She's from Las Vegas. Uh, she was a dancer. Not that kind. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. No. But uh, exotic. <laughs> they met at, uh, at USC. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's a Trojan. So awesome. He's a Trojan. So yeah. So he's happy. He's uh, you know Cody went to Oxford University and got his master's in screenwriting. So he's out there you know writing writing and producing all kinds of stuff. Cassidy, probably gonna get pretty engaged pretty darn soon too. Oh, I got it's a feeling. Gonna be a one-two punch. Yeah, I think. Well, yeah. And uh, they've known each other since they were 11 and 14. So it's it's good. It's a happy time for us. Excited about uh, potentially being a grandmother soon. Mm, yeah, well, I've waited long enough. My gosh, haven't I? What would they call you? Your grandkids? Uh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> you dang don't skip me. You are right about hot that. Hot mama. Hot mama. You are. How was it this week coming back to it's see Hoda nice. and Jenna and yeah. coming to the plaza? It's, you know, for surreal. I'm sorry, everybody, earlier. It's, um, you know, I came in yesterday. It's been seven months. And, uh, of course, I talked to Hoda quite a bit. And uh, I'm up on everything that's sort of going on with her. But there's so many other people you all know, like in your crew and your hairdresser and sure. your... You know, makeup Family. artists, and there's 200 people that work at the Today Show, so it's been fun. Been here for two days, just just hanging out and taking pictures with everybody. Well, you've been keeping incredibly busy, which is great. I, I love all the different things you're getting into for movies. All of course. those Instagram things are staged. I've never <laughs> I'm never anywhere. But they're doing a good job of it. But but this weekend, I just wanted to point out, you're having a, a great honor. You're being giving a lifetime achievement award from the Nashville Pop Huge. Sports. Huge. I know it from the Symphony. Really yeah. Cool. I know. I know. Go figure. When they called me about it, I said, why? <laughs> and then they, they said for your body of work in the arts all your life, and so it's, I'm honored. It's Nashville's been so good to me. They've embraced me. They've welcomed me. I've been writing with so many of the greatest, you know, writers in the world, all yeah. kinds of different uh, uh, genres of music. Right. And um, it's just a different lifestyle, you guys. You know how you all are, L.A., New York. There's a huge country in between those yes, two cities, is. and many of them are like the little town that I live in there, where it's just it's faith-based. Mm -hmm. But church bells ringing, you know, when sirens go off, it's not because somebody was killed or shot. Right. It's because somebody, you know, there's an, a, a different it's kind a, of... It's a parade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I love, though, Kat, you've always been vocal about your faith, which is great. Sure. And I think, unfortunately, we don't get to hear that too often. That's why I, I know you've got the book right here, which I was yeah. just telling you before we went on. I, I love the uh, title, God Went Christmas Stories. Yes, yes, yes. These are serious. This isn't my book. This is written by my dear friends, uh, Squire Russian and his wife, Louise Duarte. He's got about nine books out, all true stories mm -hmm. of how God intersects uh, the human element, uh -huh. and that's why it's called, you know, a God wink, because in the, in the Hebrew language, there is no word for coincidence. Hmm. No, because if you either believe God is sovereign or you don't, yeah. or you don't believe in him at all, that's right. fine, you can believe in coincidences. Right. But if you believe in the sovereign God, he is mindful of us. Right. And so, it, a God wink is where the divine and, and, the, um, and the human intersect. Yeah. And these stories are so heartwarming. They're typical Hallmark movies, but then with a faith element. Right. And, and this great. is the second one, this right? This is the second one. We did one last year that did extremely yes. well. Yes. Because they were a little concerned about the, the faith element. They don't want to offend anybody. Right. And I said, a lot of the stuff that leaves God out is offending more people. Yes, I agree. If, you know, we don't want it stuffed down our faces, but we want to at sure. least acknowledge, acknowledge many of us that he's, he's exists and he, and, he's, and he means something to Good us. What I love is you said earlier, we were talking before the break about Re, how people reinvent themselves and they find themselves in the next chapters of their life and you said I'm just evolving yeah I'm just I, finding you know a new me inside of me and growing and learning like everybody else yeah I mean re, I, when I hear the word reinventing I think of somebody like Madonna who's a genius they say okay let's 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 plot out the next image the next photo shoot the, right. to make the, everybody interested again I wouldn't know how to do that just slap me in the face I just would not know how to do it what I do know is how to listen to the voice of the Lord and pray about my next steps. So I'm evolving uh, every day as a child of God. I thought about that with your move to Nashville, though. How neat. Next steps can be hard to take. 
I thought it was such a cool chapter for you, sort of the next thing. Are you loving it in Nashville? Well, I've been working in Nashville since 1978. I did a sitcom there really? in 1978. I, I've already I recorded three albums in Nashville with some of the great musicians. The town there. has really exploded. It's exploded. It's exploded. But it's always been so much fun. Yeah. It's a. It's, oh yeah. And, and rich, rich everywhere. food, music, everything. It's just um, boots. You know it's, it's a culture of kindness down there. Uh huh. It's everybody's. How are you? God bless Real you. People. They let you go by. They don't. They don't. You know. Um, I've got to learn to slow down my pace. I still walk like a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. And uh, do you miss the grind of this at all? I don't the miss daytime. Interesting. One thing about it. Wow. I miss so, when I'm out. She said I left when it was time. I, I left two years later than I was planning to leave because really? there was so much tumult here and. And they asked me, would you stay another six months? Would you stay another year, Kathy? Would you stay another? Until oh, I, wow. I finally said, I can't, you guys. Yeah. All these things I've been planning are in the works. Yeah. I'm, I'm on a plane to Scotland to shoot a movie. Yeah, I'm on a, I'm sure. going to Israel to do, I mean. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they'd actually, yeah. You were like planning to go earlier than Yes, that. yes. And then so I, I, I delayed it for two years. Wow. And I'm glad I did. Yeah. Well, it's so awesome that all these things are working yeah. out. And thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 Be sure to see a God Wink Christmas Metro Love airing Sunday, 9 p.m. on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.